Chang Xiao, the billionaire founder of Hong Kong listed Chinese artificial intelligence giant SenseTime, died late on Friday, the company said in a statement on Saturday. He was 55 years old. Tang, who was also an information engineering professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, died of an unspecified illness, SenseTime said in the statement. At the time of his death, Tang had a net worth of $1.1 billion, according to Forbes's real-time wealth tracker. He debuted on the Hong Kong's 50 richest list in 2022 at number 16 with a net worth of $6 billion. In the latest ranking, published in February, Tang was number 33 on the list with a net worth of $2.5 billion. His net worth was entirely tied up in the value of his shares in Sense Time. The professor billionaire, who earned a Ph.D. in computer vision from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1996, went on to teach at Chinese University of Hong Kong. He co-founded SenseTime in 2014 with two of his Ph.D. students, Xu Li and Xu Bing. Tang was responsible for innovation and research strategies at the Shanghai-based company where he helped drive partnerships with universities and academic institutions. Xu Li, who got his own doctorate in computer vision and imaging in 2010, is SenseTime's chairman and CEO and handles most of the day-to-day. The company faced plenty of challenges since its founding nearly a decade ago. It was added to a U.S. trade blacklist in 2019 and faced restrictions in accessing American supplies and technology. The U.S. added it to an investment blacklist in 2021 right before it went public. The company has been struggling in recent years. After its successful initial public offering in December 2021, investor enthusiasm has been fading amid slower growth prospects. In the first half of 2023, revenues grew just 1.3% year-on-year to 1.4 billion yuan, $202 million, a far cry from the almost 100% growth seen just a couple years ago, while losses stood at $443.8 million after including fair value changes of certain preferred shares and financial liabilities. While the company managed to sell more of its AI-based software and analytics tools to new business customers, growth was offset by the plunge in revenues from existing clients such as those in the auto sector and government-related departments. Two of its early backers, Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba and Japanese tech investment giant SoftBank, have also been trimming their stakes. Since time was also attacked by a short seller recently, U.S.-based Grizzly Research said in a November report that the company was inflating revenues through a scheme called round-tripping, where it allegedly paid other companies to purchase products from SenseTime. The AI company said in a filing to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange that the report was without merit and contains unfounded allegations and misleading conclusions and interpretations. Its stock has plunged more than 40% so far this year, and almost 80% since its IPO.